Hi guys, good morning. Today we are going to do 500, 500 uh, air squats. So yeah, uh, full range of motions like, like this, like that. So that's considered one and we're going to do 500 of, 500 of that one. Yeah, so before we begin, Let's do some stretching guys from our head to our toe. So just very quickly. So if you want to like skip the videos, the video, you go straight to the air squats. You can do that. But for the meantime, let's do some stretching and just talk to each other like this. So this is not live for now, but <laughs> I would imagine some questions that you would have about health and fitness, right? So yeah, um, let's start. How many, how many minutes a day do you need to do exercise? So there's a science behind this, guys. It is ideal that you do some form of light exercise like walking and let's say walking around your block climbing some stairs, a combination of both, or you go to the gym, or you go jogging, running, right? And do your stretching for at least 25 to 30 minutes a day. So make it simple for you guys, make it just simple exercise like this. It would, this would be a little bit extreme because we're going to do 500 like uh, air squats, but that's just, that's just for me to, to like uh, exercise my legs because uh, I'm here in China now and I'd have no access to the gym. So that would mimic me uh, doing some squats with weights, right? Um, yeah, that's it. So 25 to, to 30 minutes, guys, uh, per day that would require you to have like good longevity, good life, long life, right? So you'll have a higher life expectancy according to science yes if you exercise at least 25 minutes a day right of course that would be coupled in with your nutrition right the way you eat your food so it should be like less sugar you should eat more protein yeah um carbs a little bit of carbs healthy carbs and healthy fat right so you must avoid fast food as well guys by the way, so since we're just home, this is a playlist from the home workout, right? So you don't have to wear any fancy gym clothes, but if you have, that's that would be amazing, right? So wear in your amazing gym clothes that fits you well, so that you will feel good as you do your exercise. Yeah, so as for me, I'm just wearing my, a regular shirt, a white shirt, and a jogging pants. That's it. So as much as possible, limit all the resistance that you would be getting if you like want to do your workout. Like, oh, I should have a nice gym clothes, but I don't have, I should have nice shoes. I'm not even wearing any shoes right now. Uh, this yoga mat is an extra, it's from Kiara. So I just borrow it from her. But if you, if you don't have air squats, can, you can definitely wear, wear slippers, just your or just your feet and then just do it just do it like that yeah I'm not sure if the music is too loud guys so we're using a a nice music background it's not copyright so music also if you have a nice music as you do your workout right it will also improve your state that would be better as well so put on some nice music as you as you're doing your exercise so if you are doing this together with me, I hope you can hear the music, right? So I, I was just finished stretching my neck. Now we are on our shoulders, so it would warm up our chest, our back, as well as our arms. So it's good that you're always like flexible, guys, to some, to some point, right? And as you are moving your arms and your shoulders, you avoid injuries. Yeah, on your day-to-day -day activity. Take a look. So let's go with our to our hips. Ten. 
Let's try to finish the air squats, 500 air squats within 30 minutes, guys. So you just have to be properly warm up. Just now, I already ate, eaten my breakfast. Um, Clara's dad cooked some noodles for me. So yeah, I just rested for an hour or so, an hour more. So we are ready. So if you like to eat before your workout, make sure that you are resting like an appropriate, appropriate amount of time so that you, it won't ruin your digestive system and your appendix won't pop. Right? Some people have this mistake. I got a few friends that their appendix pop because they try to do exercise or play some sports right after they eat. So try to avoid it, guys. I'm not sure beside, I'm not sure really about the science of appendix popping, but we don't want that to happen, right? One reason for sure is that you are full, then you try to like exercise immediately. So try to stay rest, try to rest for at least an hour, especially if you eat heavy, right? If you eat lighter meals, I think um, uh, 30 minutes for 45 minutes is enough. So now we're on the legs guys, we're stretching our legs. So sometimes I do all leg, leg, left leg first, then I do with the right. This time we do alternate. So right finish, then left, and follow along like this. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can hear mama's, Kara's mom is dead. Uh, mom and dad discussing outside <laughs> so it's almost lunch time as well so if they cook they call me to to eat but anyway i told them that i'm going to do some exercise first so yeah make exercise a good habit guys especially starting this year so before when i was younger right i I was like, I like, I really like exercise, but my body is like very thin. People would call me like a twig, you know. <laughs> and yeah, I, I think it as a motivation for me to like to exercise more, to like make my body more bigger. And I also play a lot of basketball before. And yeah, I was good at it. Uh, slowly, I was improving. You know, we won a couple of championships. We were also very good at it. But if I face with a guy that is naturally bigger than me, I find it very hard to like play against him, especially if he would like bump me. So I'm playing center. I'm not that tall. I'm six foot one. But people are like taller than me and bigger than me. Six feet plus. Right, especially if you are playing basketball, it's an asset if you are if you are very tall, right? Plus, if you have a big body, it could be amazing too. So yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. We're almost there, guys. We're almost done stretching. We are like nine minutes in. So stretching takes time as well. It's an investment of your time, right? For me, I would take like nine minutes investment or 10 minutes investment into, of stretching to like avoid injuries. So like imagine if you're injured, it will take you, take a lot of time seeing a doctor you know, paying hospital bills and stuff and recovering for like two, three weeks to a few months, right? I don't want that. <laughs> we have to be like more wiser, guys. So you know, we are down to our ankles, guys, almost there. Let's do like 50 every set, so it's 10, 10 sets. So we can do 500. I never, I never have done this. I can do 100 in one go. I mean, like in two goes, 50, 50. I never done 500. So just, I mean, I have literally 
nothing to do here, just editing videos, creating videos for a while, doing some exercise. So I don't have work anymore, wherein I will spend the next eight hours doing some work, carrying some heavy solar modules. So if I will get tired doing 500 air squats, which I don't think I won't, which I think I won't get tired, plus I have no work, then it will be, it will be easy. It will be easy, guys. So I'm reading a book, by the way. It's called Master Your Mind, Design Your Destiny. I got this book for over 10 years, guys. As you can see, it's all rusted up already. So I got my signature here, my name, and the, the date, you can see. June 2014, now is 2024, right? So it's about your mind. It's about believing in your mind. It's about your mind is the best asset that you can have. So whatever you believe, you can achieve, right? And whatever you don't believe you can do, you will never do it also as well. So you must have a positive mindset, guys. Believe that you can do it, then you will do it. Speaking of do it, then we are going to do it now. So this is the first step. Uh, let me go take my notebook. So I got a notebook here. So every set, I'll just write one until we do 10, right? So yeah, guys, let's do it. Let's do 50. One, let's see this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. This will be a battle of the mind as well, guys. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 5, 6, 7, 38, 39, 40, 41, 2, 43, 4, 45, 46, 7, 48, 49, 50. Okay, there's go there goes one set. <sighs> Let me write down this. <sighs> By the way, I just realized that I don't have my eye watch with me. I also need to monitor my heart rate, guys. Wait a minute. It's just here. I forgot to I forgot to like <sighs> forgot to like put it on. Anyway, we're still we're still resting anyway. So let's do like a two minutes rest. <laughs> Should I stand? That'll be twenty minutes rest. Oh my god, it will be like at least one hour of workout like this. Anyway, we can do it, guys. So, let me also turn on my my workout app. So, just functional strength training. <sighs> then you can see my heart heartbeat here, guys. It's 134. So, once it goes down to like a hundred, we can start again. <sighs> it's funny now because my mind is thinking, can we really do it because we haven't done it before? <laughs> so we're going to answer that question guys. I want to be I want to have like an iron mind and say that I can really do it. My feet is slowly burning right now. 
Hmm. I love it. So, let me ask you a question. Do you like to do exercise? How many months or years have you been doing your exercise? So for those people out there who haven't done any exercise yet, or you do exercise but every once in a while, I challenge you to do it like regularly because it's going to improve your life actually uh, in terms of your energy, in terms of your willpower, mindset, like discipline, um, nutrition, eating. You need to eat well, guys. I uh, need to sleep well as well. Yeah, we have done our two minutes. Let's do another set. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try to do it like slow, like this. Eight, and not to raise our heartbeat too fast. Just a controlled manner, so we can do it for 10 sets. How many? <laughs> to 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, or two, or three, four, or five, or six, or seven, or eight, or nine. 40, 41, 42, uh, 43, <laughs> this is very tiring guys, <laughs> 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, yes! <sighs> I just realized that's very tiring, guys. <sighs> so we got 100 already. <sighs> Let's do a two minute rest. I need to drink some water. So my water is just here beside me. Cut this like this. about it maybe we'll just do maybe we just do my feet is already burning a lot guys uh, maybe we just do 200 for now so we've done 100 let's see let's see maybe 300 the most 500 I think it's too ambitious for me to do it right now um, yeah let's see I can cut it down also into like 20 20 20 20 sets I think it will take a while um, yeah, let me see, uh, 
Okay. Um, we're on 24. We're 20 minutes in our exercise, guys. On 25. Yeah, it's done already. Our timer is done. Let's do another 50. Okay, let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirty. One, two, three. Seven, eight, nine, ten, forty. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <sighs> Guys, I think I cannot do 500. Sorry about that. So let's just do 200. Now we are at 150. Let's do final set, guys. I think I need like one or two months to achieve 500 for this time. As, 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 as what I've told you, right? Um, I never done 500, so it's like this is a good lesson also to set your goals just within your limit. So normally I do like 50 to 100 in like 20, 20 sets. Now I'm doing like almost like 75% more per set that I'm doing normally. So if you do that, you're prone to failure, right? Anyway, that's a good lesson. Let's do a, let's do another, like, uh, let's do three minutes rest and we just talk to each other. So we got a three minute timer and let's, let's do our final set. I'm sweating guys. Ooh. Even though it's very cold here now in China, it's like negative one, but it's going up negative one to 10, 10 degrees Celsius. So it's quite cold. Huh. My room now is the window is slightly open so that the cool air can can like go in. It's like having an air con. <sighs> like I set my goal now too high, right? So <laughs> I don't feel bad about it. It's it's, it's amazing actually because I've surpassed my normal normal goal already, which is like a hundred. Uh, 100 air squats not really per day but every other day you know but yeah exactly the more you do the repetitions right it like mimics weighted lift squats in the gym so now my my thigh is really burning right now so when i do exercise on the gym right it's only like weighted it's only like uh maximum of 10 reps so we're doing here 50 reps so that's a lot, that five, that's like 500 times more, but of course without weight. But it's still, your body weight is already enough as you do more rest, reps to make you tired, make your muscles burn. That's why calisthenics is also, is also good. Yeah, I agree in calisthenics. But I prefer to go to the gym more. But for now, home workout is the best uh, 
is the best there is because I don't have access to the gym. So that goes same to you as well, right? As you notice, you see, I failed with my goal, but I already surpassed my normal activity. Yeah, so that's what you need in your life as well. Don't be afraid to fail, guys. Set higher goals. And uh, for sure, you, you, there's a very big chance that you're going to fail. But while you are doing that one, your, your normal performance is already surpassed by the audacity, the big, the big goal that you are aiming for, yeah? So yeah, 30 more seconds, then I do the final set, okay? Let me write it down. So we are four set now. All right, let's do our last set, guys. So 50 of this. Okay, start. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, so this, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirty. I'm holding my hand like this, so every ten I count. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. My legs are shaking right there. Eight. Ooh, two more. Nine. For the win. We did it, guys. Amazing. So this is this is the step for us in order for us to reach the 500 mark slowly. So now we are at the 200 mark. <laughs> that was amazing, guys. It was good working out with you guys. And I hope that you do your exercise, guys. Don't forget it. At least 25 to 30 minutes a day. What we have did here right now is a little bit of extreme. So you can do like 50 air squats per day. That would be enough. Plus 10 to 20 push-ups for beginners out there. So if you are advanced, if, you're inter if you are intermediate to advanced, you can do more. <sighs> just this, just your floor, a nice spacious floor that's good for you. And then you can do your exercise. So that would instill for you uh, daily discipline. So you have a nice physique, a nice body. <sighs> Speaking of nice body, Right? <laughs> I ate a lot of carbs recently, guys, but I still do have this. <sighs> well, guys, so that's it for me for now. And I thank you very much for watching. I'm so happy that you are here. Have a good day, guys. 
Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to exercise. Stay safe, still healthy, <laughs> and bye-bye. I believe in you. I trust you. See you on the next one.